A cheeto? A lynx. A lynx? Caracol. I heard ocelot? Caracol. A caracol? Lynx? Well, this guy is actually from Africa. They are an African circle. A circle. So he's doing his most favorite thing in the world. He's fishing. So in the wild, but actually live in the near some streams, they'll do a little bit of fishing and fine. But here we don't want to actually have him eat too much fish because that's very high in fat. So we oh, give him in some uh, egg whites. That's what he's fishing for. So they, are, they have the ability also to jump 6 to 10 feet straight up in the air and catch any low-flying birds. Now that's only about 4 feet. We trained him to go only to that ledge because I'm pretty sure that Charmaine cannot jump 6 to 10 feet straight over the wall. No. So we want to make sure that he doesn't go that far. <laughs> so this guy's name is actually Jabari. You check out, you can actually tell the difference of them between the clouded leopard that you guys saw in Habitat. So he has a very short tail because he's not actually meant necessarily for climbing those trees and living. So he's a ground dwelling species. Okay. He's got very long legs that he actually will use to go into rodent holes and dig out any rodents he can find. His most favorite is the naked mole rat. You guys oh, ever got yeah. to see those in the show we do? Well, it's kind of like eating popcorn. <laughs> and it's a little bit of cheating because, you know, they're blind and naked, so they don't really have a whole lot of cheese. <laughs> All right, so Susan over here has actually got his brother, Chuma. And they're both about the, they're both about eight years old. And they have their typical brotherly love. And it's just like a rivalry as well. But they both love to be around each other. In fact, just the other day, they're sitting in their little hammock together in the sun, just kind of rubbing on each other. And they're all, oh yeah, I promise they wouldn't tell them you guys love each other. <laughs> so they, those big ears actually help them find those high frequency noises that the rodents make to get that as well. And he's showing you one of the most, my most favorite things about them. Those white lines on the back of his ears. Anybody know what those are for? Yes. Eyes. Very good. They look like eyes. They're actually used for that eyes in the back of your head so that maybe if a predator snuck up behind him, might think that he's actually checking them out from both angles. He can loses the element of surprise. Maybe he wouldn't get preyed upon as often. Absolutely. So, um, can you guys tell the two apart? How do you think that we tell them apart? The collars? Somebody guessed it right away. <laughs> yes, two was in the black collar, Jabari's in the red collar. We try to make things easy for us. <laughs> Quite possible, yeah. A lot of times we actually are able to look a little bit. One has a little more pink on his nose, and the other one has actually one more stripe on the back of his neck than the other one, and that's actually how we tell. And sometimes, and Chuma's bigger, yes. And still, sometimes we actually get a little confused if one's in the wrong color than the other one. So he's going to show you also they can get really tall. They also have those scent glands right in the, on their paws, so they can scent mark as well. And they just generally, just like your cat at home, likes to scratch. It feels good and it's very wonderful. <laughs> you guys have any other questions about these guys? Yes. Who are their natural predators? Natural predators would be like maybe just bigger cats, because they're also from Africa as well. So they're going to also hide in the grasslands, uh, the savanna grasslands. A lot of times, we actually have a trainer that's been to Africa numerous times, and she says she hasn't seen them too often. You, you don't see them a whole lot because they do live in those grasslands where they can hide. They do pretty well. <laughs> Most favorite thing in the world. They do get some fish about once a week in their enclosure. And uh, whatever they can actually grab through the bars as well. Oh, we can't get this one. That's the hard-boiled egg white. So these guys have actually, uh, a skunk has come past their enclosure and they, they're very, very quick. They just stick that paw up right in there, grab the skunk and brought it in. We came oh. into a nice, disgusting skunk yeah, in their mean, basement. Probably not for <laughs> young birds. Yes, yes, they have. <laughs> They're very good at catching birds, and we've actually uh, taken them to some parties where it, special groups come in. And uh, right in front of us, they have actually caught a bird. We didn't see it in the bushes, so the trainer didn't see it. He saw it. And he caught it just in time, and he had it in his mouth. And we, when they do try to give the, the things back, we actually give them a little bit of our food. So how about you give me back what's in your mouth? And he looked through and said, I have duck for <laughs> You're giving me this? Yeah. So uh, she was quick thinking. She actually just took her foot, just kind of slammed into the duck a little bit, and the duck flew out of the mouth and away, and she was fine. Oh. So no duck dinner for him, which was a little bit dis disappointing, but <laughs> the duck has survived. So we try to tell the ducks you need to stay away during the show here. We don't always listen, though. <laughs>
But yes, they're very good. They actually will catch their prey about 50% of the time versus a normal cat, which might be about 20% of the time. So they're very, very good. <laughs> They'll catch lizards in their enclosure as well. Uh, we like to take them into the little garden that you guys actually came in through. They love that. There's lots of different rodent sounds and smells and uh, lots of lizards to go looking for and romping through. And they do get on a little bit of walks as well. And they're very, very regal looking, aren't they? The largest? Well, most of them will probably be birds that are a little bit larger. The largest, yeah. Yeah, they're much, much calmer than a lot of circles you actually see as well. These guys actually have come from, um, they're veterans as well. Their parents actually were animal ambassadors in the Finnish shows, so they were born into the animal ambassador life. And they've been knowing this ever since they were born, and they've done actually a really good job. <laughs> and it was it Chuma that went to the Padre game? Both did, that's right. They actually got to be at Petco Park one day and be in the Padre escape right beforehand. And uh, did a great job. Except for they did a little bit of um, looking for their hard boiled egg white. And I don't think they were too happy that I was leaving that on their <laughs> perfectly manicured <laughs> They're like going back afterwards and picking up little pieces. <laughs> but they sure had a great time. Alright, so we have another we have to make sure that this guy is